I spoke about emotional pains. And so let's talk about um, some other pains that comes when, even when you are doing what is right. That is not inflicted on you by anyone, but it just came in the course of doing well. So, uh, this I just said, righteous pains, the pains of a believer. I'm going to start from where I'm closing so that I will, I, I, I'm able to close easily. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6 is where I'm closing or what I'm closing with. Um, it says, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Pains are not restricted to wrongs. Sometimes you'll be doing well and then things will still not work. Things will not work. But this is the only reason why you are able to hold on. I'm confident that the one who started it will complete it. I have the confidence that the one who began this good work is the same one who will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. There is the pain of a believer. There is the pain of a believer when you see people who begin to backslide, um, who suffer spiritual burnout. Sometimes you don't even feel like following God. What is when? Aran ne mi olua. You have fulfilled all righteousness. They ask you to pay tight ten percent. You paid fifteen. They ask you to stay around the fellowship of believers. You even built a house in the camp. And you thought all things will be right. But then you still have your pains. Philippians 1 says, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun this good work in me will also finish it. That's where, what we're closing with. But let's review other things. When you hear that some people are backsliding, when they suffer burn out and when they begin to reject the faith check how they have been able to manage their pains Proverbs 14 13 and 14 the pain of the believer the pain of the righteous Proverbs 14 verse 13 and 14 even in laughter the heart may sorrow even in laughter the heart may sorrow and the end of mouth may be grief. Please give me some volume. Even in laughter the heart may be filled. The backslider the backslider in art will be filled with his own ways but a good man will be satisfied from above. What makes him good? Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Now, even in laughter, the heart could be filled with sorrow. But don't backslid. Don't backslid. Because once you backslid, you'll be going your own ways. And that backsliding state does not mean that you were going backwards. It could mean that you remain on the same spot. Uh, because if you stay on the same spot and others bypass you, uh, at the end of the day, you'll be behind them. Uh, so to backslid does not mean that you abandon faith. It could just be that you are no longer as eager and zealous as uh, you used to be. And this is counter-distinctive because on the long run, you'll be found behind 
this shall not be our testimony in Jesus' name. Uh, you know, Barista sang, Arai, why do you only do it? It was Wasil. Wasil, yes. So sang, Arai, why do you only do it? I want to know, my father, what are you doing? Alara, why do you only do it? I want to my father, what are you doing? Me, oh, but oh, 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 those are places where you, you will learn your wisdom. I told you about my friend, Malomoto. <laughs> my first contact with Wasiu was in a pen cinema. Pen Cinema. It was in Pen Cinema. He did that song for Marlon Moto. Otai on the for Ko. I call you your lack and listen. Ah, man, if I. Echelem by you. Anyway, let's go back to faith. Leave, leave. What I'm saying is, if you don't go back, if you don't go back, your satisfaction will come from above. When the heart is sorrowful in the midst of laughter, there's a tendency for you to abandon faith. Then you'll be full of your own ways. O Tio Jeki Ikoro, Kogba Okan, Ari Yonan Lo Ola Ti Okewa. Iwana Wa Ari Yonan Lo Ola Ti Okewa. Oh, Shamin. So, you might be doing everything well, and yet there are pains. There is the anguish of the soul and spirit. And when it comes upon anyone, it erodes your faith. The anguish of the soul and spirit. Anguish is, is the extreme form of pain. You know, the Bible says, Anna was praying. Her lips moved, but nothing was going out. Nothing was going out. Uh, Pastor Deboe described that incident that, like, with um, they, they were use, a, a, using the analogy of a child. You know, in those days when they used to circumcise uh, male, a male child on the eighth day. They said they will come raw with the blade. And once they finish with it, they put iodine. Mm. Said the boy will do. <laughs> <laughs> That's an extreme form of pain. Tone loose or more. Okay. Oni ti ba nu je bori a je mi se bi wo lo pe mi wa so do do bo lo se bere egan igba ti mo subu ti mo kunu le dide ti ba nu je bori a ni mi se bi wo lo pe mi wa sa gbo ha lu wa 
Oh, my friend, don't call me. Oh, my friend, don't call me. Oh, no, oh, no, Lori, of fact, he drove me, no, he said, Drew. But you can't go there. Oh, no, but you can't go there. Tim, go there, did you? Tim, Iba, no, je, oh, bori, eh, mi, mi. That's anguish of spirit. Oh, I want you to be a quick little shepherd, why not? Hmm. 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 To bag ba o ken yon kan. Olu ara ele so yon bag ba o nou. Pe mo yon wain ti mo fè so ro foun. Mo yon shè lò ra shò yon lè lè shin lè lè shin lè yon. Ayyo yon 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 shò shò ro si yon lò nou. Pe yon ba wà shò yon shò ro. Oye wò yon yon wò shò shò ro. Wò yon ti yon 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 yon. Oh, to my ba, to my cousin, you only thank God. I said, hmm, hmm. At that point, you you've lost all forms of faith. There is nothing again that you want to accept. There is nothing you want to accept. Exodus chapter six, six to eight. Your bank pay ni re we si oka. Exodus six, six and eight, six to eight rather. Therefore, God was sending Moses now. To the children of Israel. I am the Lord. I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will rescue you from their bondage. And I will redeem you with an outstretched hand and with great judgments. I will take you as my people and I will be your God. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. Who brings you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you into the land which I saw. To give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I will give it to you as a heritage. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Now, watch it. As Moses was saying all of this, you will think the Egyptians will be smiling. Uh, concluding that deliverance had come to them. But to them, in a way, deliverance was too late. Please give me verse 9, verse 9 now, of Exodus chapter 6. So Moses spoke to us, to the children of Israel, and what followed. But they did not heed Moses because of anguish of spirit and cruel bondage. Cruel bondage. Ti ba nou je ba bori e me nyan. To ban so fo ni ton kwe. Olan yon shi man she. Akon ma mwen lo jou ni. O mwen fi so kwe bita kpari wa sou si. Ephesians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1. And verse 6. En to bere e she. O nan la kpari e. Nothing will make you lose your confidence in God in Jesus name. So. They said he should leave them alone uh, because they were already overwhelmed. We heard about Hannah, 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 10. 1 Samuel 1 and verse 10. Bible says, and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. Life is worth nothing to anyone who is in anguish of soul and spirit. Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 9. He said to me again, Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 9 and 10. This is Saul now. He said to me again, as coming from the guy who killed Saul, please stand over me and kill me, for anguish has come upon me, but my life still remains in me. Verse 10. Now, life is worth nothing. His life was in him, but anguish of spirit had taken him over. So the guy says, so I stood over him and killed him because I was sure that he could not live after he had fallen. Please underline, living after you had fallen. How do you live after your fall? 
And the Bible has said, if the righteous fall seven times, seven times he will live again. The guy said, I could have preserved so. But by the way he gave his narrative, I knew this guy cannot survive. I knew he won't survive this crisis. I knew. So he said, I took the crown that was on his head and the bracelet that was on his arm and I brought them here to my Lord. When anguish takes over your spirit or your soul, it, re it reduces your person. It re reduces your excellence to nothing. Omon Tori ko wa si pade ti asale eh agbara itu sile atoke wa yi o wa okan He said I killed him I killed him because I knew I just saw that he could not live after he had fallen Now there are other reasons in of that of faith that could bring a lot of discouragement that's divergent views. Divergent views. No, 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 no. Bonshe mo for ye can share it. Ya ni bush ye can share ni. Wale mari pe o ka want to fetch a gamma baje. O ka want to fetch a mama baje. Some of my friends, their leader are threatening them that man, this is in. I'm going to sack all of you. You don't get a particular result. I'm going to sack all of you. Now, those who knew that there was nothing they could do, they were going to his presence rejoicing. That at least they will sack us today. They will sack us. So when they got there, and the man told them that he was giving them another year, they were angry. What is someone? Jumbo. Ishe to kan invest. Ishe to gbowo osu le lori. Ishe to on sha so pe te ba nse ni Olorun a ma buku yan wo na de ni o se se. Eyan kan wa ni ma ge lori. They were in a meeting I think in Lagos. And uh, one leader was talking to his disciples in the same ministry. He said, if you don't double your congregation before so, so so date, you are going to be sacked. So three of them were gisting as the meeting was ongoing. So the leader now looks at them from a distance. He said, am I not talking? Are you not a part of this meeting? So they were looking at one another. Who is he talking to? <laughs> then he pointed at one. He said, is it me? So that guy stood up. He said, what did you say, sir? He said, are you a part of this meeting? What we are talking about, does it not concern you? <laughs> the guy said, it doesn't concern me. He said, why? He said, I've been pastoring the church for the past eight years, and attendance hasn't gone beyond 50. Now you are asking me to double within three months. Am I going to consult an herbalist? <laughs> so the... the the, the leader said, yeah, I, I understand you now. I know. And he didn't sustain the discussion. You know, divergent views. Acts chapter 15, verse 1 to 5. Divergent views. Cool. You could weary people, make them not to even want to mention the name of Jesus any longer. Acts, and he said, and certain men came down from Judea and taught the brethren. Unless you are circumcised, according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Verse 2. Therefore, when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and dispute with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain others of them should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. 
Verse 3. So being sent on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, describing the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy to all the brethren. Verse 4. And when they had come to Jerusalem, they were received by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all things that God had done with them. Check verse 5 now. But some of the sects of the Pharisees who believed rose up, saying, it is still necessary to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. You know, several times you think you are preaching faith when you are just talking about tradition. Talking about tradition. Things that had been handed over. Those things that they told you will work. You saw yourself that it didn't work. But you are hoping that somebody else you just imbibe it. Things they, they, you, they, they told you when you were embracing faith, if you do this, it will work. You are done then. They are not working. Then you say, no, Milba. 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 I invited someone to come and pray for me. So when he was coming to preach, he brought a, a cameraman to, to record his ministration. So when the cameraman came, I said, no way. If you come, what to record? I'm not going to record anything here. He dressed very well. He brought everything. He wanted to take a recording so he could go and use it. So I said, you are not recording here, sir. By the way, my friend was already on the altar preaching. So I barred the cameraman from recording. And he couldn't step down because so of Kweto Mbati Nwasun for my record. So when we were done, it was a nice ministration. I even wondered how he was able to flow with the distraction that I caused. So he asked me, he said, Baba, why did you not allow him to record my ministration? Ah, Munda will be hypocritical of you. Ah, on the day, Muni Bissi Muti Padeni, anyone want to go to the lower part? Want to go to crash <laughs> Lori Okembi, one Tia Wuran Kakam. Moja Lori Okembi. You cannot live on double standard. You will end the call work when you be okay to you long. One record. What? See, camera is not very good. You be all alone. Yes, then. Hey, there, there was a time they, they, they told us as you preach like this because we had to put it in books write the number of people who gave their lives so somebody will so that's what they told us only one day, Lily knew. Ah, oh, if I hear food, just soon be Lily. No, surely, can you say by law can land Lily? A Roman Yolamba. So, oh, a young queer believer made your queer. Only go watch your prayer meeting for Luan, no Lily one. I made your born again Christian. Whatever two hours, so was so was so was so was so was so. Only all eyes bowed, all eyes closed. If you want to give your life, what Jesus said. It's now. So we oh what is the religion? Now, you preach people to conviction. You preach them 
to salvation. Now, the, the disciples, all of this we did not see in the scriptures. The Bible says the disciples preached. They preached up to a point, and people walked up to them. They said, what now shall we do to be saved? So, you are already thinking that one day, this pastor that is not always making altar call, you are not comfortable. One day, when they give you the pulpit, you must make altar call. Congratulations. It's good when people come to salvation. But, a fight over what you think is right from what the Bible says could lead to discouragement and even pains. 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 Now, let me move forward because my time is really spent, far spent. But I, I'm just giving hypotheticals. Now, when you have unfulfilled expectations, unfulfilled expectations, it again leads to pay. First Samuel chapter 1, 6 to 8. Unfulfilled expectations. First Samuel 1, 6 to 8. Arriva also provoked her severely to make her miserable because the Lord has closed her womb. So it was year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord that she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not hit. Then Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Anna, why do you weep? Why do you not hit? And why is your heart grieved? Am I not better to you than ten sons. Package all of these references of anguish, pains, and the grieving of the heart together. The only thing that could still resolve it is Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. He who has begun. It's on that point we are resting tonight. He who has begun. There is no way you will operate in godliness without the pains of persecution. But remember, he who has begun. There is no way. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12 says, Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ, Jesus will suffer persecution. We rejoice in the knowledge of divine support and ability. He who has begun. Because there is no power in heaven or on earth that can stop Jesus from performing. There is no power. There is no force that can stop him from performing. It's so certain that God cannot abandon his work halfway. It's so certain. He who begun. Not losing your confidence because of the one who began. Not the work that I started. Not the work that somebody has started for me. But the work that I started by himself. He will complete it. He will complete it. The work he started by himself, he will complete it. As long as he started, he will complete it. I wasn't there when he formed me. I wasn't there when he made me. Secretly, he wrote me. He knew me even when nobody knew I was going to assist. He started the work, he will finish it. He will finish it. Will fin I wasn't there when he was near to the cross. I wasn't part of the transaction. I contributed nothing. I gave him nothing before he said he would die. Only 
la ye mi aye nbi mi oni kini so la o nfi po wo eniyan nbi mi lere pe ta lo le soro mi dayo sugbon mo gbagbo o mo gbagbo o ninu agbara na pe wa ti se yanu la ye mi jesu omo olorun o iwo le mi ma ni o aye fe mo edidi agbara re iwo loro o do o ti da <laughs> I want to fetch a ferry, Baba. So God cannot abandon me halfway. God, I'm, I'm, I'm His project. He started this work. He who began this work in me, He also will complete it. He who began a good work in me. He also will complete it. He who began a good work in you. He who began a good work in you. He will surely complete it. He, he, he is faithful to complete it. He who started a good work he is faithful to complete it. He who begun this good work is able to complete it. Men may abandon you. Uh, the communion of the saints might be missing. And when you live my Bible, God did tell John C. Olonu, can die lola. Shogun Olonu ki dale orore. Olonu ki dale orore. You know, Paul was writing to his son, Simo Timothy. He had this pain right in the prison when he was abandoned. 2 Timothy chapter 1, 13 to 18. 2 Timothy 1, 13 to 18. Yes. Paul wrote to Timothy saying, Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed to you Keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in you. He said, this you know, that all those in Asia have turned away from me, among whom are Figelos and Amogenes. The Lord grant mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, for he half turned refresh me and was not ashamed of my shame. The Lord grant to him that he may find mercy from the Lord in that day. And you know very well how many ways he ministered to me at Ephesus. Now, remember it's still the same chapter. 2 Timothy chapter 1. In 12, in 12, Paul already has said, For this reason, I also suffer these things. But nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. When we get to this level of persuasion, pains don't stay with you. Pains. Omama Wa, I think it's Acts chapter 2. And verse 27, where Peter was talking to the people, he said they crucified him. Uh, okay, here he said he will not allow his only one to see corruption. But I think it's the same chapter he said, um, uh, he said he's broken the chains of pains uh, because he could not be kept or tied down by it. Pains couldn't tie Jesus Christ down. Uh, he said, who, who, okay, who, God who raised Jesus Christ up, having lost the pains of death, because it was not possible that it should be heard by it. And 27 says, For you will not leave my soul in hate. 
nor will you allow your only one to see corruption. To see corruption. Everyone who got to this point, they were rejoicing at the point of pains. They were dancing at the point of pains. They were throwing the three Hebrew boys into the fairy furnace. And they still looked up to the king, telling him that the Lord whom we serve is able to deliver us. And if he doesn't deliver us, that means he did not just want to do it. Now, Paul was kept in prison. Now, tell you about the ballon in the Ajodebika. He was from Ayamakwe. Anything to buy Washele. Along with Balayen. Along with Balayen. In Kaka, you will be able to move forward. And men will be wondering, how are you coping? Uh, may the Lord take you to that level in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, in Acts chapter 16, let's check this and then we'll close. Acts chapter 16 and verse 35 to 39. This was the encounter of Peter and the rest of his people. Bible says, and when it was day, the magistrates sent the officers saying, let those men go. Let those men go. I want to tell you one more the, the chains got broken by itself. Antonio Marshall, I want to say Antonio Marshall, one by G. One by the way, Antonio come on, show, don't show, I want to go for that one. Ide yenja, one of the one of the cool ones. The one of 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 the They were there. When the guy woke up, he wanted to kill himself. They said, no, 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 no. Just believe in the name of Jesus. What you para him? Acts 16, if you read 31 and 32, we're, we're emphasizing 35 to 39. But he said, so they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved, you and your household. In 32, the Bible says, Acts 16, they, then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. But this is 35. I want to Tidija <laughs> When it was day, the magistrate sent the officer saying, let those men go. 36. So the keeper of the prison reported this was to Paul, saying, the magistrates have sent to let you go. Now, therefore, depart. And go in peace. 37. But Paul said to them, they are beating us openly, uncondemned Romans, and have thrown us into prison. And now do they put us out secretly? No, indeed. Let them come themselves and get us out. And the officers told this words to the magistrates. <laughs> And they were afraid when they heard that they were Romans. Verse 39. Then they came and pleaded with them and brought them out and asked them to get out of the city. Shumo, you know what you want to tell us? Now, Inu e igo to 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 we so ni bi Olorun o se to se 
ta ba fe ran won eyan ni se ninu se ran se a ma kokon gba adura ni olomo mo je nkan kan se won lona o tori won a rojo yi won a ro foku ma ni gba la ti gba gbo te ni igba gbo to wa nle won won a ro ejo yen sa in fact won te ni sin ta ba ni redemption kan gan to ba fe se volunteer wa ba de boya ni ko mo ran wa lai fun lo wo nje o so 7000 ni pa volunteer mo wa redemption kan jo kan oga to oga wa to ni ka boya o gbagbe ni abo sha gabagebe oni ki volunteer bi 30 man lo camp eh in fact pastor yenri san you know spoke spoke about divergent views like that guy had to resign it was very painful. He sent the 30 something people to go to the detention camp. He was in charge of sanitation. Our guy said he should take them. As soon as he heeded his instruction and took them, he stopped honoring his calls. So, I'm a 30 year old. What is of one month of one in Paris to Motin Shengba? I'm a bachelor near Cotaso. I don't want to bring a new but on top of the new job. Oh, I don't want to I to bring I want to bring a new job. I want to I want to I Oba Bashe, only assistant head of sanitation. I mean, long come to me, Munga Dra, long come up by Dra. Mobari or Gallo Fire. Bama is in Fambi. Long for long. Kilo Shelly, all out to Ambio Jomet, I want to eat you. Monita Lunica, Olo Gawani. Cofuin Loni. Only go for an ink account. Balo ba ke track ni camp mo ni ejo e lo lo nje ta le shiro ese won ni 250 naira se le ma ba fun won lo nje kan pa de awon 30 people kan wa je ko si bi e won go nkan to duyan julaye mo so pe elo ero mi won bi to tin sin olorun o le so won o se mo raf pastor raf ore mi ni o mo so fun e abeti Oju we do everybody. Oju we do everybody. Mommy, I want you okay. I want to take further risk. But I'm not going to go over. I want my phone alone, Jimmy. I want to buy a bubble. But most of our people in Tolo Boye, in the quarters, we should do well. We work on our balance. We look back here. I want to see here in the quarters. I want to see here. Ah, keep very cobo. Young boy. Mo 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 ejo kan mo wa le office mi mo se gba call ni e from the GOs uh, PA they said they were bringing they were bringing a sick pastor from the north for him to be receiving medication usage and they looked at the closest parish to use it it is happened to him so we should go and get him accommodation they told he has a family of five this and this and this and the accommodation must be ready if yellow thing guys here she, she will buttress what I'm saying. I, I had to look for 750,000 naira to get accommodation. You want to be close to the GO. You think it's cheap? <laughs> now, I was in my house another day. A, an 86-year-old man living on this street now is going to be with the Lord at the age of 94. They threw all his things on the road. And his son is a pastor in the system. But in America. So the news got to us that they are true, they are thrown barbarous things on the street. And they called the GO immediately. Now look at what is happening to your, to your pastor's uh, parents. They looked at the closest church. <laughs> now I told them, I said, there's another religion church here. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> and you can get accommodation. I got accommodation. I furnished the place. All you, do, you get is thank you. 
So I said, you guys want to be close to leadership. You see, the man has too much on his head. What we go to tell him is, Daddy, we are building the, chan- the vice chancellor's residence. We built 35 million air. We'll sit down and say, what again can we do at the vision camp? We were not looking for positions. Can we quickly build the vis? We were, the day we were raising the money to build the vis, vis- we were less than 40. And Pastor Esco said, this, the contractor said this is 35 million. It must be complete. Then three of us who went from Ibadan, he said, okay, Ibadan people, how much are you contributing? And my guy said 350,000. He said, is that one for cookies? <laughs> so we had to forcefully look for 1.5 million there to make up the total. Those were the things we were doing. You know, some of you here who were in Jesus' embassy, Mommy Adeboye came to Jesus' embassy, saw some of the hard work with, hard work that we did on our wall. And she said, we, sh- we have to put it in all of the chalets in camp. We were not sleeping. Emma Bashenshe in Isho. I can't in Shobai. I'm happy because Jesus is love. I'm happy in Shobai because Jay. I'm happy Okun. Ye are so much. Tafinshe. The, the lactan that Pastor Devo is still used last Holy Ghost service, I don't know of this one that is coming. We did it. That wooden lactan, I'm not talking about the, the new auditorium, the very new auditorium, the immediate past new auditorium. Ashe. <laughs> <laughs> And be a metal alo redemption camp. Baba she in law, I she glass lori atu fo. Atu pada wale atu wage. Ati ni ka ma fi se atu fo. Atu fo. Shori ojota me lo la feso. We saw people struggling to hit at the redemption camp, and my guy said we are giving them one thousand cows. Ah, Pastor Esco. He said, we are giving 1,000 cows. We started looking for money to buy 1,000 cows. 41 million. We, we asked for quotation from the very old people in the system who had been supplying cows. They gave us 65,000 naira per cow. We called the houses. They gave us 41,000. We, we told the people who were in the system that until you supply, we will not pay. They said, we have to, we have to pay. Even the 65,000. The house said, after they are supplied, we will pay. We opened an account for them in Zenith Bank. We were putting the money there. Wait. When we were done supplying 1,000 cows, suddenly I went to greet my guy in the house. He had lost his peace. I'm talking to you about suffering in the, in the midst of service. He had lost his peace. Oh, guy, what is the problem? 41 million era. He said... In fact, I don't even know what, is, what, I, um, what I should do next now. This trouble is too much. I said, what is it? He said, they said, the, the, the cows will supply to camp where they would. <laughs> so my old girl already had mad cow disease. Most of them, they don't have So I said, oh God, Let's call Pastor Esco. Let him call for us, the, the supervisors in that kitchen. Let's go to the place. Let them slaughter the cows in our presence. They said they should get 1,300 pieces, 1,200 pieces of meat. Let's do the counting together. So they said, this is wisdom. So we, we went there. We called all the big, big people who were supervising. Women, they were looking at us. They brought the first cow. They slaughtered. We got 1,350. They slaughtered the second one, 1,320. They did the third one, 1,300 plus. Then their overall boss got angry. She was very angry, livid with anger, and she left the place. So they asked my boss, what is this, even that your name? They said, Francis something. You know the rest of the name. So he said, and you, what is your name? 
I said, Austin, something. <laughs> he said, If you don't take any atom, you are. If you don't take any atom, you are. Told you what I did. I your delay. I can't wale. I'm going to come by your atom. Oh, she's my pay. I'm waiting on long thinking. She said, Can you tell them we join me? Yeah. When Pastor Scott went to be with the Lord, my new girl took over. We said we were taking cows to camp. He said, not with us. Said, Let them name the price. They told us, they said it has gone to 75,000. Yeah. Leader, ni. Remember, I Tini ajo iba ti fe mo gba sun o Olorun to bere rin ajo Olorun to de jo na la pari re Yo da si ni kori tata de In the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit You will not consider another god uh, I'm praying for you once again you won't you won't look back you you may, may the almighty god send vibrancy to your spirit Rise up to your Let's just thank him. Just go ahead. 